Did you know that you can use Jira to send a mass email to all your users? That's right. If you've ever wanted to communicate with all your Jira users, but you don't quite remember or know their emails, you can use the Jira interface to actually communicate with your users. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And finally, if you do want to help support the channel, the best way that you can do that is by liking this video and sharing this video with your coworkers, your peers, your teammates, your bosses, people that like Jira, people that use Jira, people that hate Jira, anybody in your life that could benefit from having access to over 300 different Atlassian related videos, that's who you want to share it with. Let's jump into today's video. All right, so here's a scenario that I want you to think about. You are going to need to communicate some message. It doesn't actually even have to be Jira related. Maybe you just want to send a message to a group of people. Maybe there's a deadline coming up or some major change is going to happen in your process and your company, whatever it may be from an HR perspective or something, right? But you want to email all the users that are in your environment. Maybe there's going to be a change. Maybe you're going to get off of Jira. Maybe you're going to onboard a whole bunch of people. Maybe you're going to fire a whole bunch of people. But the point is you want to email the people. And you don't really want to sit there and use Outlook for it. Maybe you don't have distribution lists or anything like that. But you know that 100% of the people you want to get a hold of, or at least a subset of them, exist inside of Jira. So I'm going to show you how you can communicate with your users and have the tool send out a mass email on your behalf. So you do need to be a site level administrator to be able to do this. But we're going to go to the gear in the top right corner and we're going to go to system. From there, it's not at the top, it's not above the fold. It's actually a little bit lower. So on the left hand side, you got to scroll down and we got a send email. Now, please note, we are not going to touch outgoing mail. Do not mess with that setting. We are specifically looking at send email. So you want to click into that and this is going to open us up to this lovely interface. So let me walk you through this interface and tell you what this does. First thing you got to know, the email is going to come from your Jira. So it's going to come from whatever URL you have for your specific Jira. Second, we're going to have our two. Now the two here is now where you get to make some interesting selections. You can send it to a project role or you can send it to a group. I prefer to send it to a group because I typically group my people into a specific group. And so you know for a fact that every time that you enable a license, everybody's automatically added to the jury users group. So if you wanted to just kind of shrug at your way and figure out, okay, so which group should I use? Well, know that there's at least one group, your Jira users or your confluence, depending on what your word camp you're in, right? That group is automatically going to contain everybody. So if you want to send it to everybody, send it to that group. But if you don't, right, let's say you want to send it to a subset. Well, this is where you should know which group people are most likely going to be in so that you can select that group. Here's my Jira users group. So if I wanted to communicate to everybody, I would send it to here. But if I wanted to send it to just like the scrum masters, I can send an email to your scrum masters, or maybe I want to send an email just to my administrators. I would send it to the system admins. Now, most of the time though, you do want to communicate fairly broadly. And so Jira users is probably going to be a safe bet. Now I have done this where I have sent an email off to like some 65, 50,000 people. I don't think there's a limit here and it just takes a second and those emails do trickle out eventually. But even if you're sending it out to like 50, 60,000 people, Jira will handle that. Obviously, you don't want to email so many people unless your company is really that big. But holy moly, if you have 60,000 licenses in Jira, you guys must have a lot of money. Anyways, so you're going to select your group and then you're going to click your reply to. This is optional. I like putting the reply to though and I like putting my email because that means that when somebody sends an email out and they want to maybe respond to it rather than it going to Jira, which nothing will happen at that point, you want it to go to an individual. The email is going to come from Jira. And if they reply back to Jira, then that email basically got lost. But if you, they reply back to you or an email that you indicate, then somebody else can now follow up or take some action. So that's what the reply to is for. The subject should be pretty self-explanatory, right? This is the change that is happening. Whatever you want to communicate, that's where you're going to put your title. And things you should know is what goes in the body. So the body is where you're going to want to construct your message and put in whatever information you want to put in about, hey, this is what's going on. This is what's going to happen. This is the impact, whatever. Whatever you want to write, that goes into your body. 
Now, the next thing you need to know is the message type. So up here, you can change it to HTML or to text. It just depends on how much information you want to include in your message. I usually just send text messages though. And then the BCC, this was critical. Make sure you select or leave this selected so that not everybody can just see everybody's email. So always, always, always a great practice, always BCC. And once you're done, once you have that information set, all you gotta do is hit the send button. And what this is going to do is it's gonna basically tell you, hey, I sent this to the following users and it'll tell you the name of all the users. Now these are all internal users for me, so nobody should be getting any messages. But for you, you're gonna see a list of everybody plus their email and their name. So you're gonna see their username, which is typically their email, their email, and then their full name. And then you'll be able to basically get confirmation because you yourself are your user. And so in a few seconds, you should also get an email from Jira with basically your message. And then people are gonna start telling you that they got their emails. So this is a really, really cool thing. Make sure you get that confirmation, right? Make sure you set, get that send email where it says your message has been sent successfully because if you don't, then something went wrong and then it won't work. But when you hit okay, you can just do that. You do get this 404, this is normal. This is totally expected at last hand. Why we gotta go to a 404, why so dramatic? But when you hit okay at last hand, maybe this is a bug that you all probably don't know about, but this 404 is a little scary, but this is perfectly fine. The email did go out. You can rest assured that the people have gotten it because when you get to the screen, it's like after the email sent out. So it doesn't mean that the email failed. So go ahead and check your mailbox and you will notice that you should have got received an email from, from Jira with your lovely message. So that's it for this video. If you found it valuable, make sure you subscribe. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you drop a like because that really does help the channel grow. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comment section below. And then finally, as I mentioned at the beginning, if you do really wanna help support the channel, make sure you drop that like because that's it's really, really powerful in the world of YouTube. So make sure you hit that like button. And most importantly, share with other people. Share with your teammates, your coworkers, your peers, people that you work with that you know are gonna benefit and get the value out of watching these Jira videos. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's only worth it if you work for it. I won't stop till they hear me now.